I took a pair of hidden camera glasses into a thrift store and I'm gonna show you every single brand tag in the shirt section. I had a little bit of an issue just with the framing, especially early in the video. I'm getting used to the glasses, so some of these brand tags are kind of in the upper part uh, of the, the frame here. And I'm not really gonna be able to pause and talk about this just because of technical issues with the video playback. It's very complicated, but the majority of these tags are gonna be trash. <clears throat> that had a wear issue on the collar. I think that brand is okay. Most of these brands that you're seeing are straight up garbage. That's a women's. Women's you can tell because the buttons will be on the right placket when you're looking at it instead of the left one, as I just manhandled in illustration. 88, trash. Seven diamonds, trash. Some of these are gonna be okay pickups at the bins, like Boss, Hugo Boss, that's Hugo Boss. I would pick up at the bins. Kirkland, Bleh! Trash. Pronto Uomo. Garbage. Uh, Donald Trump, uh, maybe at the bins, maybe. Looked it up on the phone there. That's some nothing brand. This one I also looked up on the phone. I wasn't familiar with it. Uh, anytime that I find a brand that I am not uh, familiar with 100%, I will typically look it up. The numbers just weren't right. Calvin Klein, uh, I spit on its grave. Calvin Klein, I hate. Sonoma, bad. Thomas Dean is pretty bad. It's a little blurry too. The camera glasses, I just, like I said, I'm getting used to them. The resolution isn't always great. I'm pointing to something. Uh, Esquire, bad. Van Heusen, garbage, straight garbage. Also straight garbage. Gap can be okay. Vintage Gap can be okay. The right piece can sell. That one wasn't the right piece. So all these uh, shirts are six bucks. J. Crew, another one that I would pick up at the bins. A lot of the, like half of these, I probably would contemplate picking up at the bins. Uh, Cambridge Classics, no. Straight no. <clears throat> Uh, that one is bad. What Agaro, I think is what that is. Foxcroft, this is another women's, or no, that's, yeah, Foxcroft. That's a women's shirt. Jay Campbell, it's trash. This is what reselling is really like in these uh, haul videos that people post, including me, you get the impression that it's just abundant with solid gold brands in these thrifts. Or people think that I live out in California and therefore I'm just a wash in quality stuff. And maybe relatively I am, but this is what thrifting is typically like. It's a bunch of Van Heusen nonsense. And I am, uh, I'm browsing these at about one-tenth the, sp the speed that I normally would, uh, just for the sake of illustration. It's another Calvin Klein. I, I despise Calvin Klein. Apartment 9, garbage. I think that's like a Walmart brand or something. Kirkland, obviously. Costco, that's Van Sack with two A's. It's not worth anything. I hate Michael Kors. Uh, I got into a long argument with someone about Michael Kors in a previous video. I, I think it's awful for resale. Um, that's a Nike golf polo, which uh, I would pick up at the bins, but not here for four bucks or whatever. That's some, what is that? Oh, Arrow. Arrow is trash. Land's End, great bins brand, especially vintage. And that's a 3XLT. I looked this one up because that has enough going for it that I would consider spending six bucks on it if the demand was really high, but it was just okay. So I left it behind. Another Esquire. Another Van Heusen, Alfani is absolute ass. Banana Republic can be okay. Ryan Seacrest, garbage. Morona, one of the assest of all the ass brands. Terrible. I have made money flipping it. To be clear, you can make money flipping all of these brands, especially if you're able to get them for, I would say maybe a buck or less, some of these. 
It's a Jack in the Box employee shirt. That might have been something. John Nordstrom, not great. Nordstrom, not a good brand. Bar 3, trash. Structure is trash. Wrangler is also trash. Okay, Ben's brand. Vintage Wrangler is okay. Vintage Wrangler jeans, trucker jackets can be good. The everyday contemporary Wrangler, just avoid it um, if you're sourcing at retail thrifts. This is some brand high still, H-I-G-H S-T-I-L or L-L. I looked it up, I wasn't familiar with it. That's another Wrangler, which we know now is trash. Cubavera is trash for ass. I hate it. Linen, 100% linen. Cubavera can be okay. The rest of it, just skip it. H&M, obviously trash. We all know. Uh, Old Navy, we know is trash. <clears throat> that is Jax. J-A-C-H-S, uh, which stands for just a cheap shirt. It is just an ass shirt. Urban Land. This is not one that I was familiar with. I didn't bother to look it up just because those keywords are too generic. It's going to suck up too much time to try to find it. Uh, it's going to be too polluted. Express is trash. Princi Prince Principe Italy. I looked this one up. It was nothing. Made in Italy does not necessarily mean that it's valuable. Uh, that gets thrown around a lot as kind of a marketing thing. Hollister definitely is uh, in the ass category. Another Van Heusen, another Arrow. Gap is not worth it. Uh, that is Jeremiah. And this one threw me for a loop because it was a different Jeremiah tag than I'm used to. I actually went back and looked that one up. It's not that great. Polo Ralph Lauren is an interesting one, skipping forward to the shirt you just saw. You have to be really careful sourcing it. I would have picked this up at the bins, but uh, just everyday pieces like that, I would avoid at retail thrift prices. DC is a skate company. It can actually be Okay, I would have thought about picking that up at the bins because it was a plaid flannel. Plaid flannels can be good. That's Aqua Scutum, which is a British brand that I've looked up a few times because it sounds like the kind of thing that should be worth money or should be in your medical chart, uh, but it's nothing. Dockers is pretty bad. Peter England, I recognize this tag, and uh, I, I know I've passed on it before, so I passed on it that time. Towncraft Claiborne is uh, trash. Uh, Morona. We know it's trash. John Ashford is trash that is from an ass. Old Navy. This is mostly the stuff that you're going to see. You're not going to get the big wins all the time. Jeremy NYC. Jeremy Argyle is, I think, nothing. I recognize that tag. Maybe I should have looked look that one up. I, I know I've seen that a few times. I, I've not picked it up. Vintage Van Heusen. This is interesting. I maybe again should have looked this one up just because it's vintage. I know that I've looked up vintage Van Heusen before. I'd be happy to wear it myself, but I don't think it carries that much uh, resale value. Gioberti is not good. Jeffrey uh, Bean, not good. Even though it's a pearl snap, that one is a pass. Joseph Abbott is not great. I've sold their suits before. Culturata is, I think, nothing at all. Over time, you just develop kind of muscle memory with these brands. You've seen these tags enough times and you've looked them up enough times that you don't need to really look them up again, which can be kind of a trap, but that's how I operate it's a lot of the time. Coastal is really nothing. I'd probably pick that one up at the bins. Plaid flannel. This is some um, tailor out of Hong Kong. Apartment 9 sucks. Uh, interesting one. Stephen Allen. Definitely would have picked this up at the bins. A really middling brand. Uh, size is not great. Small. Uh, yeah, the numbers are okay on Stephen Allen. Not good enough to compel me to spend six bucks on it, though. Old Navy. Sorry for the blur. Another Van Heusen. Another Old Navy there. Abercrombie & Fitch is better than you think. This one is not worth six bucks. Would have picked it up at the bins. Chaps, I would contemplate maybe picking up at the bins, but not otherwise. This one was interesting. I was not familiar with this tag. Big shirt from Abercrombie. It is probably vintage. It's a kind of heavier twill. And I looked up the numbers and they were even, meaning the demand was 
100%, 100% sell through, actives and solds matched, the prices were uh, on the okay end. So I knew that I could probably price that at 25 bucks and get away with it. So I picked it up. This is the first pickup. I did end up buying that one. Tommy Hilfiger is garbage. This is some designer, obscure designer thing with some weird fabric. There just wasn't any track record on eBay, so I skipped it, didn't feel like rolling the dice. Kind of see there's a weird pattern there. Another Apartment 9, which we hate. Another Gap, which we kind of hate. Another Morona, which we definitely hate. If you find these brands new with tags, that can also help compensate for their assness. Nordstrom, again, pass. 5.4 is a pass for me. It's a, uh, a kind of subscription box type fast fashion brand that used to be popular. Uh, it has almost no resale value. Another Banana Republic. Ca uh, Cactus is bad. Cactus is kind of on the Arizona tier of skate adjacent clothing. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba, what is this? Jeremiah. There's the Jeremiah tag that I'm used to. It's not good. And look at everything. Look at it. I think you saw me pick up something that was on the ground. That's always important to do as well. Chaps, bad. We say no to chaps. That's something that I don't recognize. I also couldn't read it as you clearly can't, but even with full resolution, I couldn't tell what that was saying. And also it had a bunch of bleach spots on it, as you can see here. So I didn't bother to look it up because even if it was a good brand, I'm not going to deal with the... Um, bleach spots. That was in Arizona, speak of the devil, Nordstrom. <laughs> BC Clothing is a pretty trash tier outdoor clothing brand. I forgot about it for that uh, outdoor brand. Mark Anthony video, uh, outdoor brand video, Mark Anthony's bad, Apartment 9 bad. Uh, BC Ethic, I just skipped. What was it BC Ethic or BC, whatever that was. This is H&M, L-O-G-G. -G. Sorry for my gross-ass thumb, by the way. Uh, yeah, uh, Label of Graded Goods is bad. Jeffrey Bean is bad. It's all bad. This is a bad brand. I did look it up because it was four-way stretch, so it was this anti-wrinkle fabric. I think they call it wrinkle-free, not anti-wrinkle. Uh, the demand was bad. Claiborne, bad. Old Navy, bad. Oh. Nike, that is a bins pickup. It is not something to spend four bucks on. That was 21 men, and this is Goodfellow, which is definitely not good. I think that's Target brand or Walmart or something. Volcom's okay, but I'm not paying retail prices for it. That's something, nothing. That is a pub, I think. I've actually sold Black Dog before. I would have picked that up at the bins. When I'm at these retail thrifts, I'm looking for a clear shot. I'm looking for close to guaranteed money. I'm looking for smart money. I'm not looking to roll the dice a bunch. Apartment 9. Uh, Jay Farrar. Surprisingly well-fitting clothing for my own purposes, but I will not sell it. I think it's a JC Penny brand. This always pisses people off when I <laughs> I throw a name out there for a retailer and it's wrong. People hate that. So Walmart, it's a, it's a Kohl's brand. Kenneth Cole is bad. Stafford, bad. That is a women's brand. And you can see the buttons there again. Falcom would have picked it up at the bins. Would not pick it up here. I think that was a long sleeve t-shirt, which makes it slightly more desirable typically than a short sleeve. So uh, what is that? I don't know. Joy Lab is nothing. I think that's a women's brand too. Good Threads is nothing. That's what's called a Henley shirt. That that part button on the collar. Henley uh, is a great keyword to know because typically uh, it is in a little bit higher demand than normal t-shirts. Irie is, or Airy is a women's brand. It's not good. Mizuno is not good. Puritan is bad. 
Van Heusen. Bad. Bad. GH Bass, another uh, brand that I forgot to put in that outdoor clothing brand video. They make shoes too. <clears throat> really not good. I would have picked that up at the bin just because it's a fishing shirt. Those kind of vented ripstop shirts uh, are pretty okay pickups at the bins. That is a long sleeve polo shirt with some thick knit fabric. I would have picked that up at the bins. Long sleeve polos are relatively rare or less common in most brands and they can fetch a little bit more money. Perry Ellis is terrible. Another Claiborne. Another Mark Anthony linen blend. Had that been 100% linen, I would have maybe thought about it. Would have picked that up at the bins just because linen season's coming up. Linen is a great fabric to know, especially 100%, like I said. Stafford, terrible. Bleah! Calvin Klein. Hurley's Escape Brands, that would have been an all right bins pickup. Croft and Barrow is ass of ass. It is an ass within an ass. Keeler Bay I was not familiar with. I looked it up and the numbers were not very good. Also, it had a stain on the front, which I will point to shortly. There it is. Looked it up for sport and it was nothing. Express is bad. We've covered this. Uh, I Heart Ronson is a, that's clearly a women's shirt. And I had never seen it before, so I looked it up. It was nothing. Stafford, terrible. This was actually a close call. The brand is Save Khaki, which you can't really read. That is what's called a chambray shirt. It looks like denim. It's a little bit lighter weight, it's a little bit more textured, and both sides of the fabric match in terms of their color. That's chambray, cotton chambray. Uh, really good fabric and keyword to know. The brand was really strong. I ended up not picking that up because I found a stain or something on it. There was a condition issue. That was a tag I'd never seen before, and 100% sell through, good numbers, which I wouldn't have known had I not looked it up. Save Khaki. Banana Republic, we know is bad. Daniel Cremieu uh, is really bad. Van, oh, Van Heusen. Van Heusen, Arrow, George, Structure. You just see these brands dozens, dozens, dozens of times every time you go out sourcing. Another Foxcroft women's brand. I've actually sold Foxcroft before and done okay with it. Um, Pronto Uomo, I hate. Another Land's End. Someone donated a lot of uh, Land's End. Would have been a big windfall at the bins, but like I said, not going to spend six bucks on these. <clears throat> Croft and Barrow. Ass and ass. That is a dry cleaning tag which can be an indicator that it might be something worth money or it's an indicator that the person that owned the shirt took decent care of it. So the condition is likely to be a little higher. Threads and Airs is a bad brand. I looked that up because of the name above it, uh, but it was nothing. English Laundry is potentially a bins pickup, but um, not really otherwise. Joseph A. Bank, another one I would pick up at the bins, but skip here. Pronto Uomo, never. I would never pick up Van Houston. Ted Baker, that's another Bins brand. Ted Baker is, uh, it's so, it's right in the uncanny valley between trash and not trash. Nantucket Whaler, this is like a knockoff Vineyard Vines kind of brand. Uh, I couldn't find anything on eBay. Admittedly, I didn't look all that hard, uh, but I, that was just kind of a nothing, nothing brand. South Pole, it's pretty bad. Port Authority is terrible. They, usually, they do a lot of like company corporate stuff. Okay, let's pause there for part one. I think that's enough. That might seem like a loss. That might seem like I go through all of those shirts. I only find the one that's worth picking up or the two. Uh, I wanna say that's, that's about typical, but you have to keep in mind that when I'm 
sourcing at retail thrifts, I'm typically going at this speed instead of what you saw of holding it up to my little dorky glasses and putting them back. When you build up enough familiarity with these brands, you can just assign it to your unconscious, unthinking mind in the way that you can just kind of mindlessly drive and just swim through the clothing and something will pop out and you can kind of think about it and look it up online maybe or, or whatever, look it, look it up on the, the menswear manifesto available in the description. Um, but yeah, if you're a new reseller, if, if a lot of those were new brands to you, I promise that after you do this for a while, you get to the point where you just no longer have to think that hard about the majority of the clothing that you see. So I hope that that helps. Uh, I hope that you got some information out of it. I'm going to do the rest of this video in a part two so that this is not an hour long bid. Look forward to that, assuming this video does not bomb. Thanks for watching it.